Happy Mother's Day, everyone. Here I am, finally made it to outside of Philadelphia. And I would like to begin this Mother's Day uh, broadcast with the Yo Mama joke that Cortland told us yesterday. Yo Mama is so short that she picked up a spoon into the baseball game. At any rate, uh, Matt Klein, this is ironic that Matt Klein was one of the very first, maybe the very first guy or lady to interact with me here, and uh, he lives in Philadelphia, so we have a mandate coming up. It's going to be fun. At any rate, he suggested, he says, hey, so when I run long distances, I listen to PJ shows. Today, it was Tenadelphia, the Epic Ten show in Philly a few years ago. Thinking, for your first Philly area lesson, maybe you could do Pearl Jam's version of Comfortably Numb. After all, it was written in Philly by Waters at the Old Spectrum in 77. Great suggestion, Matt. I love it. Uh, PJ version, Pink Floyd version, doesn't matter. There, there's no real change. Uh, it starts, and this also is totally campfire ready because there's no, uh, there's no translation needed. It's, this is a chord song. We're going to start, unfortunately, with B minor, but let's do B minor in three levels of difficulty for those of you who may not be comfortable with B minor. Level one, E2, B3, G4. The upside is it's easy. The downside is you only get to strum three strings, so it's not a big full chord. Next level. E1, I mean E2, counting, B3, put your pinky on G4 and your ring finger on D4. It's got a little more beef to it. And then, of course, the third level of difficulty, uh, this is it. This is as hard as B minor gets, is you, with your first finger on the second fret, you only need the A string and the E string, but you gotta do all of them, because... Because. <laughs> because you... I don't know. Okay, B minor. Because you don't have like two, because you don't have like a hole in your finger. You know how to play B minor. There we go. Here's the strumming pattern I'm going to use. I'm going to go down, 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 up, up, down, down, up, down, up. Or you could just sort of strum. Depending on what mood you were in, that was mostly just down. Maybe with a... At any rate, then we're going to switch to A, then G, one strum on G, and then we're going to do a little walk on the E string. Three, two, E minor. So the E string is like three, two, open, but on the open you switch to E minor. G, bump, bump, E minor, back to B minor. And that was the four measures, so... That's part one, that's the verse. Hello. Okay, we're one third done. Part two, D. up on the A string. Open two, three, three being the C in the C chord, so bum 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 or bum bum bum. G. C again. G again. And then you do that sequence again, so D, A, D, A, bum bum, C, G, C, G, and then comes the grand finale that I have become comfortably numb. It's back to A. C, G, D. And then you hang out on D. And then you go back to the verse. And that's it. Those are the three parts of the song. But what I want to talk about here real quick is we've talked about relative majors and minors before. And the key of Part one is in B minor, right? You wouldn't have to know too much to take a wild guess at that. It starts on B minor. And it ends on B minor. There it is. 
we're in the key of B minor. Now, when we're in the key of B minor, somewhere deep inside your soul, you know that B minor's relative major is D, or you know, since the key of D major and the key of B minor contain all the same notes, you know that it sort of kind of wants to be in the key of D, and it's not. It's like, it's like holding back. There's some tension there in your body. Well, we're in the key of B minor, so that when we hit the, the D, coming up, Feel this? It sounds like we've left the rainstorm and now we're into the rainbow section of Mario Land. And that is how major, uh, relative major and minor pairs behave. Your B minor really wants to be in the key of D. Sometimes songs just don't and then you sort of get over the fact and you accept the fact that you're in the key of B minor, but this song does. It's the same trick they use in that, um, you know, I don't condone listening to Maroon 5, but, uh... <laughs> she will be loved. It's capo one, but you get the idea of B minor and A. The in, the, your insides know that, uh, that this progression wants to go to D. So when he goes... It's just the most lovely open, happy feeling, and, you know, songwriters know this, so they use that. But, so, if you know your minor, to find your relative major, here's our root note of our B, right? It's on the second fret. To find your relative major, if you know your minor, you just go up three frets. Boop, 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 boop. Well, not counting this one. Up three. One, two, three. There's a D. Grandma always brings crappy deviled eggs, so there's D. If you know your major and you want to find your relative minor, you go down three frets. You do the opposite. So we start on D, we go one, two, three, there's B. I know that's B because A, open A string, A sharp, B, there it is. And now you know all of your major and minor pairs without having to memorize anything because let's say we, we want to know E's relative minor. We start on E, not E because we can't go down three frets from the bottom. So let's start on E here, the seventh fret of the A string, and go down the three frets. One, two, three. There it is, E major's relative minor is C sharp minor, because here's C, one fret higher is C sharp. See what I'm getting at here? You now know them all. A, what's A major's relative minor? Boop, boop, boop. F sharp. Uh, gosh, that's all I have to say about that. <laughs> Now I got She Will Be Love stuck in my head. Oh my word. Okay, um. Hello, hello. We covered everything, right? Next part, D. I'm going fast because it's just a little review myself. And I thought we'd, tomorrow we'd do it on the ukulele. gonna beat all the dead horses I can. We'll skip the repeat. Uh, here. C. G. C. G in the grand finale, the coup de gras. A. Ba -ba C. Two beats. G. Two beats. D. Talk about the solo to this song too, of course, but uh, not till I get my electrics back. Boy, that'll be fun. It'll be about a week or so until that happens, and we can continue everything as we were doing. But until next time, thank you so much for being here. You know, here and also on this journey across the country. That was exhausting, but we made it. So now we can uh, move forward with our lives. Thanks, guys. I'll see you next time with more stuff. I'm going to need some acoustic, acoustic suggestions, because this is all I have, and the ukulele, too, of course, for the next week or so. Okay, happy Mother's Day. Goodbye.